Oh, we on? Hey, what's up? It's your boy Carlos. And guess what? I got my own show. <laughs> Don't laugh, for real. It's my own show. What, a homie can have his own show? But check this out. Today, I have a special guest for you. And guess who I have? The homie, Hector. He plays all the cholos in the movies. No LG. What's up, G? What's cracking, dog? Chilling, it's, it's been a minute. That's it's what's up, like... And this is the cholo behind me right here, dog. I helped him, What's you know, up? on the dialogue, on the walk-in, you know how to be a real G. He choloized me, that's what happened. Same. He choloized me, yeah. yeah. I'll let him have the credit and think he got no. it. It's all good. What's up? What you got what you got going on? Like, what you working on right now? Chilling, dog, working on some projects, man. Got uh, Low Riders coming out. That's gonna be tight right there. Like 12, right? Yeah, yeah. Low Riders and then um Who's that with? That's Living with uh, yeah yeah Eva Longoria, uh, Gabriel Chavadilla, Theo Rossi, um, some other cats are up in there from the Sons of Anarchy cast. Uh, Stella Arroyo, my boy, and Joker cartoon. They made it. Uh, Throw the executive producers behind it, so that's gonna be a tight flick. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah yeah. And then um oh go ahead what's up? Now one thing about him, like every time he knows all the actors in the movie, he knows them by the name, everything. That's what I like about him. You know a lot of homies are like oh I'm working on. And um, what's his name in it? Um, they, they don't know the actors, you know? Yeah. They're, they're working on a film. But like, this dude knows the director, the DP, PA, craft service. Like, he knows them all. You know what I'm <laughs> this was, he does. But then we would go places, and he'll be like, who's that tall dude? So, like, he's a basketball player. He plays for the Lakers, but he don't know sports. Like, he don't know about acting. I was wondering who the tall dude was because Carlos was looking at him with the blaze in his eyes, bro. So it kind of made me nervous, you know what I'm it saying? Like, it's cold, and dog. Carlos, What's up, dog? Carlos wants to do this Broke That Gangsters Part 2 movie that, you know, he got offered the main role and threw me off track, dude. So he, he would know who he is, but not me. I'm like, who's this and tall he girl? Put, look, look, What's he wanna, up? He want to play my, my stunt double. <laughs> so whenever this I'm kidding, scene, man. Carlos is the homie. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Nah, but what else you got going on, G? Um, other than low riders, check it yeah, out. Yeah, no, a couple other things, man. Got um, fresh off the boat, my television series on ABC. I play the cook in that, so yeah. keep that out. That's, then That's got, different. Uh, cook? Yeah, yeah. I play, like I yeah. said, you always play the cholo. In I'm trying to break out of that, man. So I got my good. own production company. That's kind of fucked up, though. That's kind of fucked up. From a cholo, he went to a cook. They're sending you back, dog. I like, know, dog. That's right. Janitor. Like, I was like the dishwasher who owned the restaurant, and then I got fired from my own restaurant. I'm back to the dishwasher. That's crazy. It happens, it happens. But I got that, and then they yeah. turned Training Day into a television show. But what happens in Homeboy? Ah, oh, man, that just got, happen? yeah, it got all jacked up. So it's only going to air one season, and that's it. They can't go a second season because Bill Paxton passed away. Rest in peace, man. That just sucks. He was 61 years old. Um, Something went wrong with his heart surgery, and so he passed away. So because of that, long story short, they're going to go one season on ABC, and uh, that's it. Call it a day. On CBS, CBS. Damn. I was looking forward like so. That's a dead issue. That's a dead issue. More episodes. I mean, yeah, more yeah. seasons. That's what I was hoping for, man. That was gonna be, you know, one of the main things right there, but that went backwards. So whatever. Yeah, man, like Sorry. honestly, no G, he stayed working. Like he could go on and on. I know he got more projects, but these are the big, big ones. Right. Um, some of them, yeah. There's a movie that I'm doing right now. I actually want to get you in it, real talk. I got Caesar to roll. On I camera, he said. Yeah, I, I say it on camera because so, I I'm, I want to get him in it. Because I mean, he's in it. It means I want to get him in it. So I'm gonna not, try my hardest. To only pull reason because I heard that a long time. Hey, I got you. Did Caesar mention that last you. time he was on? Like, Shut the hell up. No, no, no not you. I'm talking about other people. Yeah, Hollywood talk. I got you. I got you. Years go by. The movie. Hey, hey, I make a joke, bro. If I was paid all my back end money for all the movies I've been in or all the promises that were made to me were kept to me in Hollywood I'd be a multi-millionaire right now so I get it I get it Hollywood top it, it just is what it is and it do what it do so that's why you gotta check the heart of someone first you know and know exactly where they're coming from so you know what's right what's wrong what feels right and etc but, no, but no you cut me off I was trying to tell you something yeah, bro. I was, well, I was trying to tell you about the movie I was trying to slap you up in go ahead no I don't even want to mention it no more so right, cool. cool 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 see it worked I did it Work. Now I'm Noel? gonna say it just because he said no, that. No, I'm so just I'm saying. Tell you guys, like, there's look, a movie I'm doing right now. This will be the Noel G show. That I want to get him up in. All right. This will be the Noel G show right now. <laughs> so I had to cut him off. You know what I'm saying? Actually, it's it my is, show. bro. So Carlos, what are you doing, dog? What's up? What you got? I'm on? interviewing you, dog. That's what I'm doing. That's what's And up. I got that a question, a, that was a though. Good answer. I'm I, proud I, I got a question. Proud look, look. I got an answer. A lot of. You got the answer? Well, I got every answer you need. What's up, bro? A lot of people they don't really know your story and how you started acting. 
Let, let them know, let the fans know, let the people know out there. How did Noel G get started exactly? I know you didn't wake up and was like. No, I mean, you know the story, but I'm yeah, going to tell you. I know the story. He gonna act they like, don't know but, the story. But this is how good the show is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell Carlos the story, and he's going to act like it's the first time ever that he heard it. This is how good he is as a host, all right? Check it out. Peep game. Long story short, I'm going to give you the commercial version. I was literally right place, right time. I was living with this girl, and she wanted to be an actress, model, and the whole Hollywood deal. I didn't care about that at the time. I wasn't even thinking acting. It wasn't even on my radar. I was just 15, tough kid, know-it-all, bratty attitude, whatever you want to call it. Long story short, she asked me to go to an acting class with one, or her one day. I go to this acting class with her. And when I was in this acting class, I tripped out because I literally thought everybody in there was like dorks and nerds and like lames, pretty much. And they did these exercises, like these warm-up exercises, like close your eyes and picture you in a jungle, or like grab the stars and reach for a candy bar, like stupid stuff, right? And I was talking smack in the classroom, right place, right time, never thought about acting a day in my life. There was a producer who was sitting in class that day, who was scouting out talent, comes up to me and he says, hey, you want to be on a Taco Bell commercial? And I was like, what? So, I, And I thought he was on some BS, whatever, but I gave him my number. It ended up being real. Two weeks later, I'm on a Taco Bell commercial for the Superfish Tacos at the age of 15 years old. And um, I made a lot of money. And here's something that was a trip. I didn't know like how actors get paid. I was ignorant to residual income. I didn't know about that stuff. I thought it Same was like here. I thought it was like regular work. Like gotta work to get paid, work to get paid, work to get paid. I didn't know about so long story short, I did this commercial, I only worked on it one day in my life, but they were sending me all these checks and all these checks started coming in, right? And I thought it was a computer mess up. I, I you know I was cashing them, I just wanna be a good citizen, whatever. So I was like cashing all these checks and all this money floated in and I really thought it was a computer mess up. And so after I started, I, like literally every time I cast a check, I thought I was breaking the law, but I had my story for court. That's what I mean. like, they were paying me, I didn't know. And as it came in like so much, like I'm, we're six months in now and I'm still getting checks. And I only worked on this damn thing one day. I called up the producer and I said, how come I keep on getting paid? And he goes, oh, that's how actors get paid. So I said, what? I said, well, hell, I wanna be an actor then. That's how they get broken off, you know what I'm saying? So then he hooked me up with a manager friend of his and everything I went out on was Gangster 1, Cholo 2, Trigger. I was like, damn, I thought I was here to act. Hey, you know what I mean? Before so, a long stretch, you were Hector. Nah, no, that started later. That started later, man. But um, So that's how the acting got started, you know? But what I can say on camera, I'll tell you guys this straight up, straight up, is at first it was about the money. I'm just going to keep it 100. But as I started getting more and more into the business, it's actually a true passion of mine now. Like, I love acting. I think we have the funnest job in the world. We always work in different places. We work with different people. We travel for free. I just think it's the funnest damn job in the world because it's never the same. So, you know, now I have a true passion for it. Yes, the money's nice, but you always heard that saying, you know, you never uh, work a day in your life if you love what you're doing. And so I love what I'm doing and it's awesome. So that's what's up. That's the professional side we're doing now. So that's the story. Question. Here we go. Because I know they want to know. He's reading the cue cards. You know so just so know. you guys know at home. <laughs> They want to know, like, where you from? Where you grew up? What area? You know, a lot of people are like, is he from, where's he from? Yeah, 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 it's all good, it's all good. Let people know where you're from. So, I grew up in Orange County up until the age of 15 years old. And when the acting started off, I moved out to LA. And then I was living in Gardena for like 20 years. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm homegrown. I'm from here, California. You ain't got to uh, tell them the, you know, because we also, you know, we... We hung out before, you know what I'm saying? Like, we lived together, like roommates. He was my roommate for one year, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. We had a, what was it, the 23 cent cheeseburger day? <laughs> hey, what about that? We we had spot. A... Tell me about the spot. We, we just had, moved in was... there like one day. Uh, oh, yeah, dog. So that was. <laughs> Why don't we just leave it at that, bro? We, we moved into this place one day, and we had this contest to see how many girls we can get to the apartment. And there was only three of us, and this is a true story. We had like 30 girls, I kid you not, show up to the apartment. Thank and there was you. only three guys. It was me, him, and Enrique. And we didn't know what the hell to do, so we started trying to call homies to come over. But because it was last minute, homies wouldn't come over. The girls came over all day long, and we threw crazy. a big party there. It was the craziest night ever. So next thing you know, the manager comes to the apartment. It's a true story. And says, uh, you guys gotta go. What the hell do you think we're doing? You know, and we're like, we're just partying, whatever. They're like, yeah, well, you're out. So we were there literally one day, huh? 
We, our boxes weren't even unpacked. This is no joke, no lie. They were stashed up against the kitchen, against the wall. It was insane, bro. And uh, next thing you know, we, well, that's it. They kicked us out. We were literally in the apartment for one day, and we had to find a new spot. So I thought that was kind of funny, but he brought that up. So, but yeah, that was a good. That was a funny day. That was a funny day. Why you follow me, bro? Put the camera out. I'm getting the same time. Oh, sorry, look at that. Yeah, nah, there it is. Man. This is undercover vodka right here. Playing this, bruh.